We humans like to think of systems in very specific ways. One way to think of a system is to think of that system as being simple. In a simple system, parts are interconnected and interactive. We could think about this like a common wristwatch, mechanical wristwatch. If a part in that system breaks, we know we can identify the part by taking the watch apart, remove that broken part, put the part, a new part back in its place, and the system would function again. We consider the frame of, of these simple systems as being mechanical. There's a direct cause and effect relationship. If this happens, we know the next thing that will happen, and that outcome is always the same. For every single failure, there is a discrete single outcome. Make sense? So cause and effect relationships in simple systems are very, very strong. Each, mathematically, each individual question has a single discrete answer. Let's think about the next level. The next level up would be a complicated system. In a complicated system, the parts are still interactive and interconnected, but now they're also diverse. So we think about this as redundancies or defenses in depth. One way to look at this is that the system has a bunch of sub subsystems nested within it, which are basically defenses. If something goes wrong, there's an intervention, so a pathway that, that can be taken that is a contingency against the original failure. The interesting thing about this is that cause and, de cause and effect relationships still exist, but they're a little bit more diluted in that if this happens, a bunch of things could happen, but it's still a limited set. If we move to the, the understanding of this kind of a system, what we want to do with this kind of system is just like the last one, go down and in, break it apart, try and understand the component pieces, what failed, and what other defenses we might need to build in place. We call this both the simple and the complicated below the line. Below the line meaning there's got to be an above the line. The above the line is a complex system. In a complex system, the system still has interconnection, interactivity, and diversity, but in this case, the word that we add is adaptive or adaptation. In a complex system, the system itself can adapt. And if you think about what adaption means, like what does adaption mean to you, if you just pause and reflect for a second, what it might mean to you is it might conjure up images of learning or images of changing based on information that's coming in. And that's very accurate. That's a great definition of, a, of a adaptation or to adapt. The problem with this is that this is more in the realm of an organic system in that when we do adapt, we don't adapt necessarily predictably. So if I were to stand next to somebody else in the room, pick anybody, look around and pick somebody and imagine them standing next to me. Let's say the person's name is Jim. So Jim's standing next to me and I, I ask you this, would Jim and I fail at exactly the same point if we were put in the same situation? And the answer you'd likely come up with is no, especially if you picked Jim and Jim was a lot bigger or a lot smaller than I was. But let's take a look at this other aspect of that. If we place Jim in exactly the same situation twice, is it likely that he would fail the same way again? And the answer to that is no, fundamentally because Jim would have learned from his previous experiences. So when we think about the, the framework of a complex system, it's an organic framework, and it's a, a framework that adapts naturally to stimulus, but it doesn't necessarily adapt predictably. Everybody has normal human variability. So the pathway, as we start to look into complex systems, instead of taking them apart into their component pieces and examining each piece independently, is instead to try and understand how those pieces are networked together. So we use a, a, little, a little process, if you will, to look at that. We call it sense-making, learning, and improvisation. So as we think about what it means to make sense of a system, as an individual re reacts to something that they've never seen before, they're going to try and make sense of it, or something that simply doesn't make sense or is out of place. I like to use the phrase dumb, dangerous, or different. So as somebody recognizes that something is either dumb, dangerous, or different, the first thing that they'll naturally do is make sense of it. The next thing that we normally do without even realizing it is learn something about that system. And then we experiment, and that experimentation we call an innovation. We don't necessarily know what the outcome is gonna be because here's the really, really freaky thing about complex systems. Complex systems can have an infinite number of outcomes. So for every action, there isn't a simple 
This is the set of reactions. There isn't a simple set of a single action. There is an infinite number of outcomes from a single input to a complex system.